Arif Karabayolu, who is an associate professor at Koch University in Istanbul. Thanks very much indeed for being with us on the news hour today. So tell us, what is Turkey trying to achieve with this launch? Uh, that's uh, that's a very good question. Turkey is uh, actually has been launching these telecommunication satellites uh, since uh, the early 90s. So this is going to be uh, uh, quite a number of them we already have launched, and uh, we already have three of them already in orbit. So with these satellites, we actually um, uh, achieve communication over a very broad range of uh, part of the world. That's covering from east of England all the way up to the west of China. So Turkey is actually trying to expand its uh, communication capabilities uh, by operating its own satellites. And where does this position Turkey as a country with a growing presence in space? Uh, that's that's exactly right. So Turkey is actually um, you know launching a lot of different satellites, communication satellites. Uh, also, some Earth observation satellites as well, like the uh, Göktürk satellites are uh, actually used for Earth observation. Um, and Turkey is actually developing its own technologies, uh, not only um, you know launching uh, other people's uh, satellites. Turkey is now building uh, her own satellites. In fact, uh, one of the next ones in line, Turksat uh, 6A, is going to be 100% Turkish uh, satellite, designed and built by Turkish engineers. Uh, tested by Turkish engineers, and it will be launched uh, in, in two years. That's going to be very exciting. So how important is it to be at the forefront of all this, to not be left behind? Uh, space is very important. Space is uh, essentially, it's the next frontier. Uh, it's almost like a cliche, but it's, it really is, because space is a growing field. Uh, communication is obviously an important part of commercial space, but there are, there are other aspects of commercial space that Turkey has to get into and will get into. So Turkey uh, started the space journey a little late, started something like 26 years ago, but made uh, tremendous progress over the course of the 26 years. Uh, actually initially uh, launched its own satellites in the early 90s, operated them. Uh, now Turkey has the capability to build very large satellites uh, all the way up to five tons uh, in mass. Uh, so that's a very unique capability. There are only a handful of countries can do that. Uh, and then next thing Turkey is doing is developing its technologies for components that can be used space systems. And Turkey is also investing in space launch capabilities. So, so Turkey will become a significant player in, in space. And also I'd like to remind that we have a new agency, a space agency in Turkey that has been founded about a year ago. Uh, Turkey is actually going strong in the field of, field of space. Okay, Arif Karabayolu, thanks very much indeed for talking to us today on the news hour. Thank you.